Okay, yeah, I, I can see that. Uh, let me see. I'm going to do every other one. So one, two, three, four, five, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, blah, 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 blah. Uh, also cool in my life, I'm writing a novel. I don't think I've ever explained that to you guys. And it is about, I say about a hundred and thirty pages, 40,000 words, and my overall goal is for it to be uh, 50,000 words. So I'm getting there. I'm 80% done, four-fifths done. It's a pretty cool book. Uh, those of you who have seen Super 8, it's kind of like that. Uh, that movie kind of inspired me to do something like that. Uh, and if you also like sci-fi, I'm trying to get it published too uh, in a book form. Not necessarily for sale of everyone, but as something that I can keep for myself. And a few friends, right? Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, have you gotten your answer to the question I asked you last time, Brennan? If you had a million dollars, what would you do with it? I forgot all about that question. Uh, Mitt Romney's already taken. You cannot become Mitt Romney and uh, have money and run for president just because you have money. Darn it. <laughs> yep, I'm sorry. Uh, what else would you do then? Dun, um, dun, 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 dun. I'd probably put it in, like quite a bit of it towards like a retirement fund because that's important. Brennan's got a. He's partying with his money. You should got a party plan, Brennan. And then. Using it for a retirement fund. I'd get a cool car, I guess. You know, one of them Lambos. Oh, uh, yeah. That's, that's one of my dreams, is to have a cool car one day. And just be driving around Tampa, Florida with, like, Sweet Caroline playing I in the background. I can totally see you doing that. Yeah, I'd have, like, the windows rolled down in I my can see this. And I could just be, like, tapping on the side of the car and making fun of everybody in my brand new car. Your brand new Lambo. Yep. I, I, can, I can see that, too. I can see that, too. Uh, do these... Oh. Am I using um, am I using Bruce already? Darn it. Oh my gosh. I'm terrible. So is that it that's new with you? Uh just about. Uh nothing much anymore. Uh except for the sleepover. That was really fun. Really, really fun. It was. Had a lot of fun with that. We had a good time, talked about some things. Yeah, I found the, the talking to be one of the funnest parts. Good times, bad times. You know, I've had my share. Change all. Um, best thing with building is to add uh, as much detail and differ differentiation. And stairs. And stairs, yep. That's, that's my pet peeve. When building something, if you want it to look good, you have to have stairs. No questions asked. No questions asked. No questions, no. No, no, no questions. You don't ask. You just stare. You just do things. I'm um, not a schemer. I try to teach the schemers how pathetic their attempts to control things really are. <laughs> how does that look, Tyler? Inside and out and stuff? Uh, that looks good. I especially like this little thingy right here, and they're gonna have like a few chairs. Yeah. Like maybe you should have another one over here, and then like chairs in the middle, just like. Oh no, that's like the takeout place. Oh okay. And this area is like for chairs and tables. My father. You remind me a lot of my father. We hated my father. <laughs> yeah. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We are tonight's entertainment.
Now, where is Harvey Dent? <laughs> my, uh, probably my favorite, like, comedy part of the movie is when he's holding, what's her name? Rachel. Rachel, yeah, he's holding Rachel. And he's like, let her go, and he's like, poor choice of words. <laughs> and he yeah. drops. Well, uh, Batman, like, ends up landing on top of a car. I can't believe he just, just like, run after her, hold his arm out, grab the Joker with him. Yeah. It was, like, uh, knocked him out right then. Sad that, um, that, uh, uh the dude who played the Heath Ledger died. Heath Ledger, yes. He's a good actor, especially in that movie. I haven't watched Brokeback Mountain. Uh, but I heard that he's good in that movie. But I especially like him in um, Dark the Knight. Dark Knight. Yeah, there's been a lot of good actors who have died after the making of the movies. The Paul Walker thing, I'm surprised and anxious, eager to see what they're gonna do with the Fast and Furious movies. Since oh he was, like, the no. Main character. Those are gonna and be then, awful. They're gonna have to figure out something with um, with uh, Philip Seymour Hoffman, who sadly died. Uh, a few months ago. No, no, not a few months. Like a week or two ago. And uh, he was a really famous actor, really. Uh, known for Moneyball, uh, parts of the Hunger Games. Uh, it started with a C. I can't remember. It's one of his biggest movies. But uh, um, he was like the main character. He was supposed to be the main character in the newest Hunger Games movies. Uh, but uh, he was like in charge of everything. Not gonna spoil anything there, but I'm surprised slash eager to see where they're gonna end up taking that one. So it's a lot of uh, surprising movies coming out soon. And uh, for those of you Hunger Games fans, I am sorry to say, but um, whoever are doing them really want money, so they're splitting and it they're up. And they're dumb. And splitting it up into two parts, which I seriously think is the gayest thing they could do. Seriously, that's bad. Uh, it's like good... it's like on a the Hobbit three trilogy. Even though there's one book for one yeah. Hobbit, I know, and you don't need three movies for it. Yeah, I know. You don't. You have you just... seen the newest one yet? I have, unless they've done part three. Uh no, they haven't done that one yet. I then don't yeah, know I've, I've seen part two. Uh the Desolation of Smaug. Smaug, yes. Almighty Smaug. Um, I like the dude who played Smaug. Uh, Benedict Cumber, Cumberla, Cumber. You can't say uh, his last name. He's in Sherlock. He's Sherlock oh, really? in Sherlock. And ah. He's, he's a pretty good actor. I I like the work that he does, a lot. Especially Sherlock, but I haven't seen the newest season. But I heard it was really good. I've heard it's kind of like a mix of the whole mystery, yet it's a lot more... I've heard it's more comedic and it, more it, scandalous. It does It does find a lot of ways to be uh, funny. And it's weird because the two main characters of that movie are both in The Hobbit, Desolation of Smaug. Obviously, Martin Freeman is um, Bilbo. And obviously... Um, uh, Benedict C is Smaug. I'm not going to even try to say his last name, even though it's probably easy for most people. Uh, and I found that to be kind of cool, that they're in another movie together. So, uh, uh. uh, if you're tuning in, well, obviously you're tuning into what I'm doing. Uh, I have this elevated so that people can kind of like walk up these stairs and uh, kind of like enter like this and then they're on like a little elevated platform I think that's pretty cool and that way I can engrave stuff like glowstone into it which is also kind of cool and this is going to be our formal formal diner right here so let me think how am I going to go about this and I also put this kind of like a what Brennan's doing over there on the sides of it to what's the word kind of go with somewhat of an overall theme to stick through the entire restaurant area which 
would be kind of nice. Uh, let's check in at what Brenda's doing here. Uh, I like your uh, your table seat system here. I find it to be pretty cool. Now, uh, did you purposely do this so this was like only one seat right here? No, I fixed it. Okay. It was, it was kind of a uh, unique idea to do it like that, though. Uh, okay. Now, what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to start by making the um making the walls of this and another good thing to do is to build one block in so you can carve on the outside and it adds a lot more detail to your build so I'm just gonna do that all the way to the top so this is a nice elevated building uh. and I've got the basic design for this I think We'll go over and see what it is after we're kind of like done with each building. Okay. Um, oh, think, actually, no, I'm not. I've got to fix the front. You probably want to do is add some furnaces to make it look like they can actually cook something there. Like they're not just like cooking food with their hands. Where they're should I add not them? Gandalf cooking. Uh, I'm not sure. That is for you to figure out. Uh, actually, you know what this kind of reminds me of? What? Kind of reminds me of JMK when you cook in front of you. Oh yeah, it kind of does. Maybe we could say it's kind of like one of those. Yeah, that could work. That looks good. Are you all done in there, Brennan? Uh, just about one, two, three, four, five. Six. You might want to add something for uh, people to walk in. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm doing here. So now what I can do is now that that has a little bit more detail I can add stuff like stairs obviously because a build without stairs is like a um like a fish out of water <laughs> a fish out of water yeah a ying with no yang one two three Yeah, but then there's no SATs, nothing too big, just SATs. Oh, yeah. I said to like babies compared to SATs, which is not a good thing. Not a good thing. At least we can say that uh, the ISATs, which have not too, too much of uh, an importance, will be done with. There we go. Lighten it up. I'll uh, probably add some more glowstone up here. A few mini chandeliers. Right there. Right there. Right there. And right there. Pop. Oops. Pop. Pop. And pop. That's not there. Alright. What do you guys think? Looking good. Uh, Brennan, could I have your... Uh, on a chicken opinion on this I'm actually gonna set this as spruce as well looks good uh, T Liked. up 17 1 and fix up our glowstone once again so uh, we don't have too much room for cooks and we don't have too much room for people to sit but that's okay uh, that's perfectly fine it there doesn't have to be a lot of room for people to sit and stuff like that uh, because this is going to be the most expensive restaurant and obviously no one's going to come here so I just wasted all my time because we're going to ch charge like $200 for the salmon and about 100 for the specialty fried rice fried rice mama's secret ingredient which is uh, pepper <laughs> so it's ketchup <laughs> ketchup our secret ingredient to our our burgers is ketchup, and that's why you have to pay three hundred dollars for it. How's that look? That looks good. Um, I'll I try to fix up the front later. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm gonna stop here too. Now I have a basic foundation, and Me that'll leave too. us more to do last uh last time. Yep, guys. Uh, 
I guess we can we, we can work on this last time. Uh, next time is what I meant to say. We can work on this next time, and hopefully that won't be uh, too far off. I'm sorry that I've only been posting about one or so videos a week, but that is because uh, there's been a lot going on lately, and I said uh, that if there were a lot going on, I probably wouldn't get a chance to post as much, but most of that's over now, so now I can post more. So, as always, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for supporting the series. Our first Caesar's Palace video has utmost of around 300 views. And considering that I only have 7 subscribers, I think that's really good. Uh, we got the middle pillars fixed up. We got the sides fixed up. Brennan finished up the floor. I started working on my little restaurant. Brennan started working on his little restaurant. And we're getting closer every every um every time we play so uh i think that's it as always subscribe if you like the video favorite if you like the video facebook and twitter are always in the description if you ever want us to do something or if you ever have a suggestion or if you ever want me to play something in specific just post it in the comments and we'll probably do it because we'd like to listen to our viewers uh, SimCity on my series is probably coming pretty soon too. Anything else, Brennan? Uh, no, I'm good. Okay. Uh, sticking to the Academy Awards last night, uh, I would like to thank the Academy. And, uh... I told myself I wouldn't cry. <laughs> <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you, uh, next time. Bye.